part here controls the contrast. This part, of, this this part of the control panel controls the contrast. And this is the fax buttons. These are the fax buttons. So there you have it. The Xerox Document Center C400. Thank you for watching. Pretty soon part 3 will be coming up. And I'll be having the camera on, on the tripod. Thank you for watching this part of the video. Part 3 is coming soon. This is also a network print. Well, this printer is also a networkable as well. That's another good feature. So you can have an, um, the scanner. The, the scanner part is actually a network scanner too. So, um, it, you know, you can have a centralized. You just have one scanner and then you can send the, the scan document in your workstation. And also the scanner, the scanner feature also gives your ability to email people. as well but unfortunately I cannot do this because I don't have the system to do it at the moment I just you know it's been I've been trying to do it but is um, if anybody if anybody's watching this can let me know and knows about about these machines I will greatly appreciate you to let me know how to do it so Thank you for watching this video about about the Xerox. Thank you for watching. Now I'm going to talk about a little bit of the history of the Xerox brand. It started in 1906 as Haloid Company, and for for the first half of its life until 1961, it became Xerox after the 914 copier. Over time, they have um, introduced different models, including the one I've got uh, shown just now. So you can see that the future, the future um, of the brand, is pretty. It's pretty pretty fair. However, over the years, however, over the years, you have rivals manufacturers like. Renalta. And this particular model is the EP1085, which runs a 17 pages per minute and it's based on the analog, mo um, the model, um, based on the analog system. It is still a pretty fair machine, it's still a pretty fair unit. It does a good copy. Before, before, if you only want to do black and white graphics and text, graphics on these analogs do not come as do not come as good as the analog counterparts. So keep in mind of which one you want. Analog or digital. Each of them has got their advantages and disadvantages. The analog ones are cheaper to buy and maintain. Well, then the, 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 the digital photocopiers are actually more expensive to maintain and can and doesn't have the problems. It doesn't, you know, one, you know, if the scanner part goes, you're in big trouble. But with the analog ones, this one's by mirrors and by motor. It's more simple, but here it's more based on electronically. Thank you for watching this video.